Howdy. This is Monster from I Want Cookies or We Want Cookies. We really do with a cookie right now, to be honest. Um, really be, a little bit hungry, to be honest. Um, nom nom nom. <laughs> um, this video is about one of the things that my condition actually near enough made me stop doing. One of the hobbies that I actually enjoy doing. And it's about how it really near enough destroyed my entire life. Um, when I was in school years ago, I used to get bullied and all that sort of thing. When I was in primary school, and second, when I was in primary school, even heading off to secondary, everyone gets bullied here and there, and all that sort of thing. But what helped me through that time of my life, I used to draw, believe it or not. You used to be quite wasn't brilliant at it. Um, wasn't really brilliant at all until I actually practiced and practiced and practiced and practiced and practiced. Um, and many years later, sorry, a few many years later, I actually um, you know, gave up. Everything I loved because my ha my hands had actually deteriorated. The condition of my hands deteriorated and got a lot worse. I gave up my guitar. I used to play guitar. guitar. It's been nine years since I originally played, and I've only recently started doing that. I was gonna give up archery. As well, I was gonna give up. I was gonna go up, give up. I was gonna give up my entire college course, to be honest, as well, because it involves working with animals and all that sort of thing, and it can be really, it was really hard men mentally for me to deal with something that was a physical disability. But the majority of people that have actually been there for me, friends and family. The ones who stuck by me when I need, when it really got hard for me with my hands and my joints and my body and everything like that. They're the real heroes as to why I actually can continue doing what I do. And that also includes Cookie. She also helped as well by being a joyous, jolly self. Um, I only started... Drawing, prop like sketching a little bit, not brilliant drawings, but I'm getting better, getting back to the skill I used to have. It's been ages since I've been able to draw what I'm about to show you now. Yeah. It's not brilliant, I know. It needs work. Um, I was trying to do like a Japanese um, anime manga style or just a well Japanese anime manga style sort of thing but it's really really hard considering yeah considering I've considering what I've got it I used to get upset and emotional all the time over it um The problems I have with my hands, um, it's throughout my entire body. Um, when my joints just lock out, the joints in my body, and I can't move them, I, um, it's not really an easy thing to go through. But if you have the right amount, right people around, just supporting you, like your friends and your family, you've got good people. I used to say to myself, never draw, I'd never be able to draw again, never be able to play guitar again. And I, I did start, I did admittedly, I know I said I didn't stop archery before, but I, oh, sorry, I nearly did stop archery. But I actually did, kind of. 
gave up that a little bit because it was hard for me to deal with. Um, and I, when we like, um, would lock out and all that sort of thing, I couldn't move them, so it was quite scary because I was stood up straight and I could not move my own legs. I was scared as hell. Because I thought, this is where my life's going to go down the drain. This is where I'm going to end up. Um, when people um, make fun of... Um, something they can physically see that's wrong with someone. It really hurts. I go out and I feel people's people's eyes staring. Just staring at the fact that I'm different. Um, that's why I wear the gloves. They look, they stare. You can see them staring, you can feel them staring. But they never bother to ask. Why you've got to wear them, why you're different. And I just end up getting really upset because people do discriminate and treat you differently, but obviously you've got to prod on. Life's meant to be positive. And if I'd tell you the one thing that keeps me happy when I'm, when I'm in general being me, when I have got the gloves on, there are those who keep my spirits up. Because apparently I've been there for, I do that to them, I keep their spirits up. My best friends can all testify to, the, to this. I'm um, sorry for the, if I look a bit emotional or anything like that. <laughs> um, it's just... Um, My entire life nearly got destroyed because of um, my disability, my bones, and sorry, bones and me sorry, the condition I've got with my joints. It's a hard name to pronounce, to be honest, or to even spell <laughs> what it is. Um, if I didn't have the friends and family that I have. My life wouldn't be as happy as it is now. Um, I'm I'm happy I've got the support I've got with people, like my friends, my family. But it's hard to imagine what life would be like without them or without these gloves or without the general support I get, without the care I get with my support, like my family with me and the gloves. But I only get two of these a year. Two pairs of gloves a year, of and all that sort of thing, but they make a hell of a difference to me. This is this is monster, over and out. Like and subscribe, please, um, and enjoy our videos. Over and out.